its flow for and today I will show you how to route your HTC One S so you must already have downloaded uh, CWM Super SU uh, version O H eight or O H seven so you must have it on your computer and maybe you can uh, just put it on your HTC One S so you must connect your phone uh, so connect your HTC One S Okay, you just have to copy and paste these two different fi uh, file or one of these on uh, your HTC One S by disk, disk drive. So I will put it on a new uh, temp one. Okay, and I will paste it just here. Then you can uh, you can uh, just turn your phone on charge only you have to check one two different things um, on power you must be sure that fast body is uh, unchecked and then you can go to developer option and USB debugging mode is activate so then you can just disconnect your phone and turn it off okay power off my phone Okay, so I must flash it by via recovery. So before doing that, you must have unlocked your bootloader on this video, and you must have installed via recovery. Look at this video. Okay, so my phone is power off, and then I can just press volume down and power button. In the same time, I must just stop with power button and continue to volume down. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I will just try. Yes, my phone was not powered off completely when I done that. Okay, so I am on the recovery, uh, on the bootloader. So now I can access to recovery here by power button up and down, and then uh, power button, excuse me, and volume down. Uh, access to recovery like that if you forget to put your file your dot zip on your phone you can do that right now you just have to connect your your phone to the computer here go to mount and storage and mount usb storage okay uh, you're able to open ums okay so maybe you can do that so you, you must have uh, already put your file on your phone okay so to install it you must go to install zip from sd card and then choose uh, choose zip from SD, sd card here let's go here then you have to go where your file is so i have put it on temp where is temp1 okay so i have to go on temp1 my file is here and then I will press uh, the one I want to use, I'm not sure. Okay, choose zip, temp1, and this one. I want to install it, so yes, install that on my phone. And you can see it do something. Install from SD card is complete, you must have that. Then go back and reboot system now. And your phone is now rooted, and you can do what you want with it. So let's go to see it. Okay. Na, 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 na. Okay. Okay, when you are finished to do everything like that, you can install uh, a new uh, a new custom ROM, but take sure to have saved all your thing on your phone you must have done a, an android backup i do that everything when i change my rom okay so android is upgrading so i think it's working i have to enter my my pin code okay okay preparing a sim card and then uh, to be sure, I must, for example, use an application as QuickBoot, which is working only with root experience. So 
uh, it's working and I can check it with uh, another one as super SU um, na, 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 super SU okay so the super SU uh, binary needs to be update I check continue okay installation success so my phone is not rooted and I can check that by recovery okay I can just as quick boot and bootloader and okay it's a uh, I need boot so I just play grunt and your phone is uh, restarted on bootloader so it's working and the root is okay so thanks to have seen this video and uh, let's go to install a new home custom it's flow for hot to come